Do you know the difference between pink and purple? <laughs> My life is in your hands. That feels so scary. <laughs> 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 Everywhere we went, people wanted to take it to their gnarliest trails and try and, you know, kill us. And oh, drop yeah. it in. Oh, <laughs> I think they're rad, and I flew them information. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. We ready, lads? My name is Martin Ashton, and I'm a paralyzed mountain biker. It's crazy, but despite that disability, I still get to ride my bike, mainly thanks to my crazy, amazing friends. Now I'm on a mission to see where my riding can take me, and more importantly, who I can ride with. Right, it's time to see who we've got this week. Oh, amazing! This is Brett Tippy, one of the biggest personalities in mountain biking. But you know what, for Brett it hasn't all been rock rolls and drifting in the dirt. The sport treated him well, but that led to some darker times where life got just a bit too rock and roll. I love his story and I love this guy. And if Whistler wasn't enough of a gift as a location, apparently Brett has bought me a present too. Uh, this is Rob Warner's wig. So, woo! <laughs> Yeah, this has been partying in hard, and it kind of matches the uh, you know GMBN uh, graphics on your jersey. So I thought we'd have a bit of wigs and you know some big hair, big hair. Please don't drop my helmet on this lift. Oh my god! There you go. And I have to wear this. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so That's here it. we go. We're dropping there we in. Go. First route in for Brett. I just gotta be gonna... dead weight here. Yeah, just this let it roll totally in. This scary. Yeah, try not to steer it out of the corners. <laughs> and then we basically go <laughs> this is in, into these turns. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, just pass right, dead weight. Right, dead, dead weight. weight. Yes. Okay. Is that down here? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you know there's wall rides coming up, right? Eh? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Yeah. Yeah! Oh, it's the metal. It's still on. Yeah, I'm okay. Okay. All right, let's get this golf up. Here okay, we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh my God. Martin Ash, oh well, thank God you have been world champion because <laughs> my life is in your hands. That feels so scary. <laughs> You actually know what you're doing. Oh, I you're got not it. a I got former it. world champion for nothing. I got it. I got yeah. it. Yeah. All right. Okay. Right, so. So um, now we're out of the village and now we're, we're cruising the over village. towards the Lost Lake Trails. This place, this place is beautiful. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh my God. Absolutely gorgeous. So let's start at the beginning. Oh okay. Boy. Let's start at the beginning. Original. Let's start at the beginning. I started at the bottom and I kind of like it there. <laughs> <laughs> You're a Kamloops original. You started snowboarding, like you said, and you're a racer on snowboard, but a free rider on mountain bike. Yeah, you know, it was like a way to get my kicks in the summer when there was no snow. Yeah. I was jonesing so bad for, you know, a bit of a shred. Yeah. And uh, I uh, would take my bike out and just go free riding with my bike and get some thrills and some kicks, like doing some steeps and um, yeah. jumping off little cliffs and... Little cliffs? Well, some big cliffs, yeah. Yeah. How big do you think you jumped off? What was the biggest thing you did? Oh, probably like uh, 25 feet is the biggest thing I landed. Wow. Um, I tried some 30 plus footers. But back in the day, though, on those bikes. Well, an eight meter drop back then, that yeah. was insane. People didn't, yeah. you I mean, know, they didn't know what to expect. It, or, or, we didn't know what to expect. It was kind of like, it was unknown, right? Yeah, I mean, it's easy now because you can watch 50 videos of people doing it. And the bikes are made for that now. Yeah. They've had, you know, yeah. two decades of, of technology to, you know, work out what doesn't work and what does work. And So there was you, there was Richie Schley, Wade, Wade Simmons. Simmons. There was guys like Dangerous Dan in the North Shore, Johnny Smoke. Yeah. You know, there, there was uh, there's a few people out there sending it. You know, we really you know, took to it. And Richie was a pro skier and I was a pro snowboarder. So we really knew how to work the cameras in. Yeah. Cameras and, and, and work the program and, and, you know, get good light. And, yeah. Um, we just uh, just kept it going. And uh, it took, took hold and um, did a lot of movies, a lot of uh, magazine shoots, TV shows, there's yeah. tons of exposure. It was it was insane. And then we started making money and getting plane tickets around the world and it was it was awesome. And everywhere we went, people wanted to take it to their gnarliest trails and try and you know kill us if we could ride them, <laughs> which is exactly what we wanted. And did you did you feel like um, you were changing the sport 
at yeah, that time. A little bit, you know, I, yeah. I, I could see what was going on from other sports. I saw these other sports happening. I saw Krusty Demons of Dirt, you know, yeah. taking racing and then turning it into free riding. I saw skiing with um, lots of racing going on and then they had Blizzard of Oz. Yeah. You know, start the free skiing movement and then I just knew it was gonna happen to mountain biking. And so I knew that something special was going on. And That's I didn't incredible. see anyone else anywhere to what we were doing. Come on, your head back. Whoa, oh, Jesus Christ. So, oh. Whoa. <laughs> that was a, whoa. Oh. Whoa, that was we, close. We nearly went down, dude. We nearly we went down. We nearly went down. Speed wobble. Yeah, that nice was, save. But that was big. Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 And again. We're getting loose. Right, okay. we're getting loose. Right, a couple loose, loose units here. Time to concentrate. Oh, my okay. God. These lips are funny. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, that would be kind okay. of good. Hey, do you know the guy that was addicted to brake fluid? No. He says he can stop anytime. <laughs> yeah, I'm with the guy that was uh, afraid of speed bumps. Right. He's slowly getting over it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. A lake. Oh, beautiful, gorgeous lake. Oh my god, that's incredible. Yeah, it's just oh, so this amazing place out here. Is, this place is insane. Oh yeah. It's oh. gorgeous. So Kamloops looks completely different to this, doesn't it? Because it looks like something out of the Wild West. Well, it is true. It's like one of the only deserts in Canada. Yeah. It's a semi-arid um, zone. Yeah. And uh, all the storms come in off the Pacific and they hit the coastal mountains and dump their load and rain and the rainforest here. Yeah. Then they uh, go up and over uh, the valleys and then it's like desert. And then they eventually pick up water from the rivers and lakes and they dump again down by Revelstoke. Right. So the right. Counts area, we got cactus, rattlesnakes. That's crazy. And it's very much a desert, but it used yeah. to be a lake. So there's all these like clay uh, formations everywhere that are just made for free riding. Wow. Steep chutes and like couars and cliff drops. Like you could ride gnarly stuff there. And if you face plant it or crash hard, yeah. you know, you wouldn't like lose ounces of flesh like you would in the rocks. Right. All the other places in BC or around the world. Yeah, you could give it a, give it a go. You could give yeah. it a go and get up and dust okay. yourself off and try it again and try it again. Yeah. And you kind of learn how to ride this stuff so that when you did do it in rockier situations, you've kind of already done it a little bit but with all the consequences. There can't be many people who, I guess Palmer and stuff like that, who've had like a snowboard career and then a long mountain bike career. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's incredible. So you're, what, if, if you combine your snowboard and your mountain bike career, how long have you been an athlete? Because well, I mean, you're still doing it. Since 83 uh, on the bike and board, but I went pro snowboarding in yeah. uh, 91 and then, uh, I started getting paid mountain biking in 97. Yeah. And so. That's amazing. Uh, it's still going. <laughs> That's crazy. That and I crazy. get paid to do both still. I don't know. It's a dream job. Yeah. But I mix it up with a lot of coaching, uh, some guiding, some announcing, some video hosting. Wow, we're beasting up past the camera here. We're beasting up past the camera. Go on. Go on. Go on. Tear feet. Tear feet. Tear feet. Tear feet. Go on. Oh my God. That was good. That That's a big hill. That's a big hill. Right, let's stop it here and have a little break because that was. That's Landing hard. Gear. Oh. Hey, I got one for you. Go on. What was the biggest mountain in the world before they discovered Mount Everest? Uh, don't know. Mount Everest. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I feel like such an idiot. Oh my god. What do I want to ask you next? Okay, let's Why get into it. Why are you driving a parkway or parking a driveway? <laughs> Why are you in movies but on TV? That's a good, that's a good point. <laughs> Why do they call them asteroids when they come to the hemispheres? They call them penroids when they're on your ass? <laughs> if you're from the North Pole, do you get Polaroids? <laughs> Why do men have nipples? There's many different questions you could ask. <laughs> that's a lot of questions. <laughs> I have no answer for any of them. Me neither. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's got we're waking out, I guess. Is that what you call it? Oh, I don't know what you call this, dude. I don't know what you call it. Okay, oh, these are going to be crazy. Pump the roller. Oh, my God. <laughs> Red Chippy and Martin Ashton. Head it down the hill. Oh, yeah. On your right. On your right. Yeah, on your right. On your right. Thank you, Bull. All three of us. <laughs> I just totally remembered you've got a scare. Yeah, you know they said, well, three people. Whoa. 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 Nice part of railing it. Oh, yeah, bro. Nice. That was sick. Yes. Yeah. 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 We made it. Yeah. We made it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Feet down, dude. Oh. And, and like, how long? So how long has it been? How long have you been sober? And I've been sober since December 17th, 2008. Wow. And uh, well, well, congratulations. That yeah, is, thank I mean, you. I can only imagine it's 
Yeah, I have my dad to thank and my wife to thank and, and uh, a friend of mine who, who got me a mountain bike and another friend who got me a job doing some construction and gave me a place to stay. My friend Greg Salmon and uh, my friend Peter who got me a mountain bike and I got psyched on mountain biking again. Oh, and fun, um, you know, there's a bunch of different people and things that, you know, will make a difference. Yeah. And uh, I was lucky enough to, you know, grab the bit of help that I could and then do the rest myself. And, um, and your dad was around to s see you through it, or? He saw me uh, sober for seven months before he passed away. Right. And so, you know, if I, I hadn't happened, I don't know if I could live with myself. Yeah. And so I'm very thankful that I had that. Yeah, yeah, I bet that's important, right? You just, that he could you see, need, yeah. see the turning of the leaf, you know? Yeah. And yeah. Um, I have kids now, and I look at their little faces and their little eyes, and there's no way I'd ever go there again. Yeah. So I know. Yeah. For sure, they say never say never and don't get cocky, but yeah, there's no way. I'm riding bikes, I'm snowboarding, I'm hanging out with cool people. Yeah, you know, sporty people, and um, my job is 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 awesome. I'm like enough to, you know, get paid to do what I love to do, and yeah, and hang out with inspiring people. And I'm very very lucky, and I, I don't take it for granted. Yeah, I don't know if this is the right way to word it, but was was drunk Brett Tippy like a happy Brett Tippy or did he change into like a darker Brett Tippy? How did it affect you? Well, no, I was a happy, happy drunk. Yeah. The booze would lead me on to the hard drugs. Yeah. And then, you know, I was still a pretty happy guy yeah. until you're sleep deprived for days on end and then yeah. you're broke and you blew off a bunch of stuff and it's just a downward spiral yeah. of, of hell. Yeah. It's like being yeah. possessed. Yeah. You know, I, uh, I didn't want to do it anymore for years, and I, I tried to clean up, and I couldn't. And right, right. It, uh, I thought I broke my brain. I was like, oh my god, Shit. I had a good thing going, and I'm this person now, and I can't seem to stop. Right. And it was, uh, it was very scary. And uh, were you scared at the time? Were you thinking, how the hell am I going to get out of this? At some points, yeah. You'd have moments of clarity. Yeah. And then have moments that you just don't, you know. Yeah. Give a shit, you know. <laughs> Pretty messed up. Yeah. Your, your pleasure center will override your rational center. Yeah. And uh, I was gone to races. I love partying anyways, and I've always... Yeah. Well, I've seen you at some parties this week, and you, you're clearly having a great time on a can of Red Bull. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. all I need is a Red Bull now, and, yeah. you know, a little bit of pasta, and away I go. <laughs> <laughs> did, why did you... How did you get through it? What got you on to getting through it, you know? Well, my dad helped a lot. My dad pulled me out of a lot of bad places. Right. And... Um, I met an amazing woman, uh, Sarah Fenton. I me? met her earlier on. Yeah, and Ooh, she helped me out big time. Yeah, yeah. That's the rock? I think we might do that rock roll in a minute. Carry on, and, I um, like the look of that. No, I met this amazing woman who mountain biked and was super smart and funny and, you know, had it together and um, fell in love. And I just didn't want to be that guy anymore. I'd partied for years and yeah. I overdid it. It wasn't even really partying anymore, just yeah. debauchery. And, yeah. Um, my, my father my father passed away and uh, I wanted to honor him you know he's looking down and looking at everything I did and yeah I didn't want my legacy to be you know a drug addict alcoholic dude and I, I wanted there's more great things I wanted to do I wanted to shred I, I, yeah. I, I missed shredding and uh, there was a whole bunch of factors was your dad a, uh, was your dad a big you know, a big inspiration in your life, or was he? he was, a, yeah. Are yeah, you he, a, are you another version of that? You know, was he a oh, was he a funny guy? And... He was he was amazing. He was a school teacher, but a musician and an artist. And uh, he'd take me out mountain biking, and well, not, we didn't call it mountain biking, but we went bicycling in the countryside in the 70s. Right. And you know, we'd go out and he would like do sketches there, and then turn them into watercolors and sell them for extra money. And oh, he wow. was really very funny dude. Yeah. And had an incredible, incredible database of. Jokes, limericks, rhymes, okay. uh, random facts. Okay. Like 20 times my retention. Wow. And uh, he was a very, very loved man. And uh, uh, he had a stroke and then a heart attack. So we lost him in 2007. Oh, man, I'm sorry. That's, and, that's uh, tough, man. And he's a comedian. So I used to say, you know, it was yeah. the worst thing that ever happened to me. But I was like, that's the worst thing that ever happened to him. <laughs> Which he would appreciate. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. But yeah, I was very close to my dad and, and my mom and I were very close still. She's a rock and yeah. um, I didn't want to disgrace my family and I, I was very selfish partying as hard as I could go, you know, and I I was writing to see how many days I could go without sleep and I did 10 days without sleep and I what? almost died. Man, that's insane because that can kill you. The, the US Army says the average human will die after 12 days with no sleep. Wow. And um, That's scary. It, it was scary, so. I really like how you clearly know there's been people who've made a massive difference, like you said about your dad, 
was a huge influence and I can really recognise, you know, from what I've been through, like how big an influence people can have on getting you through something. And if they hadn't done that, where would you be? You exactly. Know? I don't know where I'd be. I, I, I might not be alive. Don't rush. Get it set up nice. <laughs> and then give us a shout and we'll be, we'll nail it. <laughs> we're, it... So, we're so not going to nail this. <laughs> I don't no. think this is going to go well. We're going to nail this. This is hard. If we can get up this hill, it'll be amazing. Yeah. Because when you see it, you're going to be like, oh, shit. No way. Hey, it's a big rock. Yeah. It's a big rock. Okay. Right, dude. Okay. Nail it. Okay, here we go. Oh, my God. This All is right. a stupid yeah, idea. Get the power going. Right, go on, man. Oh Drop my the gears. God. Look at it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Go on, man. Get a That's run it. going. Yes. Yes. Go on. That's it. That's it. Yes, we're online. We're online. We're online. Go on. Go on. No. Oh. No. Oh, so close. <sighs> We just needed to get a little bit further. Yeah, I think we needed like so, super light gear. I think we've got another go in this. Yeah, yeah. But it's a light gear. Now bring the back end up. Yeah, a bit more, a bit more. Whoa. If you can give us a good push off, Brett, I reckon I can get us down there. Okay. Go. That's it. Now don't pedal now. Just let me let me wobble our way down. Okay. I'll just use the gravity. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Nice. There we go. I knew we could get down. Go on. Oh, fuck me, we're moving now. Go, go, go. Like it, like it. Go on, dude. Push it, push it. Oh, no. No. Oh, so close. I think push this bit. I'm not going to make that. I think we're going to push this bit. Okay, so Brett and Blake are looking at a rock roll they think we might be able to do. And I, I, could, I might be able to do a rock roll, a proper one, with Brett Tippy on the pack, which would be insane. But I can't see it from where I am, so I'm going to have to just trust what Brett thinks. Oh, the situations I get myself in. Go and have a look what they're doing. Wow, that's quite the gnarly line. Imagine going into that hole. No, you would you not want to endo a, a tandem front bike. wheel into that. Oh, yeah, you'd get fly swatted into the yeah. ground. Left, right of the tree. Left yeah, the over tree. the root, yeah. and then uh, Martin can pick a line down here. Hopefully not in the hole. Couple trees over here, Martin. So you know, down there, when, when once we're like going down the rock. So you want to actually? Like, you know what they say, wood no good. It's never ended. <laughs> going against the grain yeah, here. Am I needling you? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll leave you alone. My bark is worse than my bite. But I'm just going back oh, to my roots. Just going, oh my god, this is all to do with wood. Yeah, this is this so is. So do I go super quick or what? I, well, you can go super quick, but uh, I guess I will too, because I'm with you. Good luck. Yeah, Jesus. thanks. I need it. I need it oh, all. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's all up to Martin, well, so I'm just a passenger here. I don't think so. Oh, I love the nerves I know. before a shoot. I, I love, love it. it. I hate it all at the same time. Oh, no, I love it. It's yeah, just that. like uh, such a You know what? I used to get butterflies, food. and I couldn't get rid of them in my mind, yeah. so I, I just eventually turned them into dragonflies, because I think they're rad, and then I flew them in information. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. We ready, lads? Ready. Let's Ooh. do this. Go for it, dude. All right, buddy. That's Whoa. it. We've got it. Okay. Right, over this roof. Free riding. Oh, yes. And oh, drop it in. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Nice, buddy. That was sick. <laughs> right, let that it roll. That was pretty steep, actually. Let it roll. It was nice. Oh, my God. This is oh, cool, you did it perfect. We've got it. Stay high here, I think. Oh, Stay my God. This is good. Yeah, we got yeah. it. Got it. Yeah. Whoa. Nice. Oh, my God. Nice. Whoa. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Very nice. Whoa. Free ride, bro. Yeah. Yeah. That was amazing. <laughs> oh, that was so good. Nice, man. I want to take the opportunity to say and make let you know that you're someone that has made a lot of people go out on bikes and have an incredible time. And long may your career reign and and impress us and inspire us. And I'm I'm so glad that you're still here doing it. Thanks, it's fantastic. Buddy. You too, fantastic. man. You know, like. Life is short and, and you've got to grab every moment because you never know when it's going to be over and it's all you can do is, 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 is do what's now in the present, right? Yeah, yeah. They, they say yesterday is history and tomorrow is a mystery. Today's a gift. That's why they call it the present. Yes. Make use of every moment. Absolutely, man. Like Absolutely. right now, we're shredding, right? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm the same as you. I've done it. I've been able to get back from a very dark place thanks to some amazing people. You know, really great friends and really great family. And I do have those days where you wonder, God, if, what if they hadn't been there to... Because how would I have done it? Yeah. Because right? I certainly, was, certainly would never take the credit for it myself. Uh, yeah. Hey, you know what? If life was fair, Elvis would still be alive and all the impersonators would be dead. Yes, that's true. <laughs> um, I tell you what, you've done the random tandem now. 
you have survived, thank God. <laughs> but you now get to pick someone else. Like, oh. you have to keep me on my journey. Oh, wow. So, what do you think? Like, who, who could we... Who could we put on it? Wow, well, you know what? We, we just saw Paul Bass on our way out here. How about you give Paul Bass a call and see if you can get Paul Bass? He rides an, uh, an e-bike and his, his legs are, are working well enough. I think he could, you know, He's put on. down some landing gear. Paul Bass, you're on the list. Paul Bass, uh, yeah. you've been called out, brother. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, man. Random tandem. Uh, absolutely. If you've enjoyed watching the random tandem, then thanks very much. Give us a like. Um, click over there to see another video from GMBN. Um, and, you know, don't miss this opportunity to hit the globe to subscribe. Um, this has been the random tandem with myself, Martin Ashton, and Brett Tiffy. It's goodbye from me, and it's goodbye from him. Uh, thanks yes. for checking it out, everybody. <laughs> wow! <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah. yeah. And Martin Ashton. <laughs> <laughs> Sick. Yeah.